Thieves looking for cheap gas have been targeting an Orangevale daycare, leaving kids without a ride and the owners with a hefty bill. Police have yet to make an arrest, and the owners may have to fence off the property. CBS 13's Rob Malcolm has more on this crime of opportunity. Rob? Yeah, that's right, Tony and Shrin. The uh, members here at Action Day Learning Center say these cameras were able to capture the act, but the thieves headed to these vans, got what they needed, and just took off down the street. The thieves come in the middle of the night, waiting until Matt Campbell has closed for the day. And I was sitting in the living room when I seen the, some car lights flash through the window, and I opened the door and seen a truck backing in next to this van. Campbell's been running the family business since 1980 and says it's no coincidence when gas prices go up, thieves turn to him for cheap fuel. Every time gas prices spike, we start having a problem again. Matt says to discourage the thieves, he's also installed locking gas caps, but they're finding another way. They're going underneath. And they're just basically cutting a, a large hole in it or cutting it in half and putting in a, a hose. His cameras caught the Chevy or GMC truck rolling up at four in the morning. He lives five minutes away and confronted the driver who sped off. Staffers usually don't know there's a problem until the morning. And we go to put gas and it ends up on the ground. He's left with a repair bill close to $300, all for five to 10 gallons of gas. Action Learning Center has a message for the thieves. Learn a lesson in compassion. These are used to transport children to and from ele elementary schools every day. So when this happens, we lose a van. Um, basically, kids have to wait somewhere while we double up in other vans. Matt says the suspect's truck had a large vertical dent in the rear tailgate. The partial plate ended in 154. And back here live, you'll notice that the vans are parked in the opposite direction with the gas tanks facing the interior. Now, Action Learning Center has three locations, one in Folsom, but Matt says it's the Orangevale locations that are always targeted. Guys? Yeah, that's